Hey everybody, welcome to the second part of the XGUI layout and code generation video. Uh, in the first part of the video we went over creating this layout here. Uh, now we're going to go over the code generation part. The code generation is pretty easy. Uh, once you actually have your layout done, you just come right up here, you hit generate. That's if you want to save uh, your layout files. I recommend you do this. You should always save everything. Uh, and it's done. It's generated the files. Uh, now it's asking you if you'd like to refresh the asset database. Uh, this comes up because I have my asset database uh, not set to automatically refresh. It drives me insane. I like to alt tab back and forth just to look at something real quick and I have a tendency to save my files while I'm working on them. So triggering a code reload while I'm trying to just look at something is really annoying. So go ahead and click yes. It's going to refresh the asset database. And there we go. Um, it's now generated the code. We can come up here and we can go to XGUI. Or no, let's give it a second. It's not done. I do this all the time. Now it's done. Come up here to XGUI, go to our new layout, and here we go. We have exactly what we created here and, and what we have over here. Um, so now let's go take a look at the code that was generated for this. And let's pull up the original. Um, so this is the original template file. Um, this is some of the stuff that's going to be in every window that's generated. Um, mainly it's property settings and uh, things to handle background colors, stuff like that. Um, and then from that, this gets generated. So here's all your um, variables and your setup functions for all your UI elements. Now this is why I said it was important that you name everything appropriately because as you can see we're using those names in here. So I have setup button 566 because I didn't name that one. Um, so we go ahead we set up all of our content and everything in here. Um, now the reason it's done this way is, is you're not creating um, new GUI contents and stuff like that every frame anymore or every time it's it's being used you create it once it's saved it's stored it's there until the windows close so you're not creating a bunch of garbage for the garbage collector that's just floating around doing nonsense um, and it also allows you to be able to actually access these from other scripts and change them on the fly if you want so if you wanted to change the color for button 566577 clone 577 content color you could access that field from another script and actually change that and it will immediately be reflected in the UI. Um, so let's scroll down here some more. See all this is generated for all those things that we had in there. Um, some of them aren't necessary I don't think. Um, like right here this one isn't necessary but it's still being generated so there's still some minor things I have to do to clean up what kind of code is generated so we're not generating useless code but goes through and does all that and then here is our setup this is what gets called initially an initialized GUI from on GUI um, and this checks if we've already set it up or not if we have we don't continue so we're not wasting any time with that but if we haven't we go through and we set up all the styles and content and everything for all the UI elements in here and then our on GUI calls our actual display GUI and here is all the display code so that's actually you know not a lot of code but to sit there and go back and forth and write that and go back and look and go back and write it and go back and look and then to set up the contents and pick the styles and everything else takes a lot of time so that's the the code generation in a nutshell there's uh, there's still some things I got to work on and improve but it's an ongoing project here so I wanted, just want to give you guys an idea of everything. I wanted to show you that code generation is in. It does work. It's not some mythical unicorn that, you know, everyone's chasing. So uh, I hope you guys like everything you've seen so far and uh, look forward to hearing your feedback. Thanks.